Iowa soybean farmers continue to produce a great product in record numbers. And once again this fall, the Iowa Soybean Association has a couple of great vehicles to tell that story. Team buses for Iowa and Iowa State athletes will once again be decked out in school colors and powered by soy-based biodiesel. We'll hear more about this partnership and its impact from the farmers who grow these soybeans and the guys who drive these buses right after this. You know, everything starts with the land. We really respect farmers. There's nothing that we cannot help a client with. So the brokerage, the management, the appraisal, and the investment are four pillars that really go so well together. We work with a lot of really great people working incredibly hard to provide for their families or community in the country. When Iowa and Iowa State kick off the college football season this weekend on their home fields, our state's soybean fields will play a major role in making it all happen. Both the Cyclones and Hawkeyes will once again arrive for game day in style, led by team buses powered by soy biodiesel. And Iowa's soybean farmers are proud to be part of the process. It's always good to, to sponsor our state universities and, and be able to send those buses all over the United States as a, as a billboard for what Iowa does. These buses are seen all over and uh, we need to get the word out that this is a good product grown by the Iowa farmers. Before the season starts, each school's lead bus is wrapped in school colors and logos, and biodiesel is prominently on display. Each bus will travel about 65,000 miles over the course of the fall and spring athletic seasons, and biodiesel will power every turn of the tires. Windstar Lines is the busing company that provides service to both schools and the guys behind the wheel say their buses and that biodiesel get a lot of attention. Game day, I think of particularly with, uh, with the football games and usually the crowd starts to gather around to see the coaches and players uh, file off the buses and so it's good to have the, the cyclone wrapped bus and the biodiesel right there. Uh, it's, Pretty good advertising. When that bus pulls in, it gets a lot of attention. There's, we get pictures all day long. If I'm sitting in the bus, I, I'll have the door open, I'll close it up so they get a better picture of the bus. And it's, uh, it gets a ton of attention. The amount of fans that are at a university and the hype around those, those players rolling in is, is tremendous. And, and it's hard to not notice the Iowa Soybean and the Biodiesel Board representation on those buses. And both drivers say they also get asked about the biodiesel that powers their trips to the stadiums and arenas across the country. Occasionally we'll get a question from a fan or somebody uh, near the bus that asks about the biodiesel fuel and if, how much we use that and if we like it. So it's always good to give a, a thumbs up on it as well. It's kind of funny because I'll ask, what, what about biodiesel? I said, well, that's where we get our diesel from and we use biodiesel exclusively in these buses. and and try to use it in all of our fleets when we can. But it's it's interesting when some of the farmers ask about it, especially Kurt, you know, coming from Iowa, they know what it's about. And, but uh, it, gets, it gets a ton of attention. The sponsorship is courtesy of the Iowa Soybean Association, powered by the Soybean Checkoff with support from the Iowa Biodiesel Board. Once a product in excess, soybean oil has found its market share with the rise of bio-based fuel usage. This fall, Iowa farmers are expected to harvest more than 500 million bushels of soybeans, solidifying our state as the top biodiesel producer in the nation. Biodiesel puts a, quite a bit of money back in the farmer's pocket. I can remember 20 or 30 years ago when they'd give the daily grain markets, all they could talk about was what a surplus there was of soy oil, and that is not a problem today. The future of biodiesel is uh, really positive and looks to, uh, to grow just based on its sustainability. It's homegrown. We're not relied on other countries for our fuel. And the money stays in Iowa. And to me, that's, that's one of the most important things is we keep that money local and, and use it here. 
Both the Hawkeyes and Cyclones are hoping to do lots of winning this fall, and they'll be traveling with a winner in homegrown, clean-burning biodiesel. And that is a win-win for everyone.